What is going on, everybody? It is a beautiful day here at Premier RV of Oregon. And right now, I'm hanging out with Louie. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Behind us is this 2008 Country Coach Intrigue 530. And this coach really caught my eye. I'm thinking about maybe trading in my Tiffin up for something like this. And Louie's going to tell us a little bit about this coach. It's a 2008 Country Coach Intrigue. It's uh, the Jubilee floor plan where the galley is on the driver's side of the coach. It's in great shape. If you look at the paint, it's uh, got some beautiful neutral colors. What motor's in this coach? It's got the 525 Cat with a three-stage Jake brake. Do you know how many miles are on it? Uh, this coach has approximately 67,000 miles. The highlights on this coach, in my opinion, are the bay doors. You know, a lot of manufacturers use aluminum. This is all fiberglass, and the doors are locked. <laughs> so we'll unlock it right here. But with the detail it gives, it kind of gives a nice little detail. Instead of just having a flat panel, you could do a nice design work on these doors. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll point out, too, these kind of sporty fins really give it a nice appearance. And, and just like everything that Country Coach does, I mean, wow. you can put your weight on this door. And how many doors shut like a car door? Boom. So the cool thing about it is it's not just being fiberglass and it has a beautiful look, is it has a ton of insulation in here. So a metal a aluminum door is going to get a lot of heat coming in here that's going to transfer inside the coach. Country coaches are probably the most insulated motorhome out there in the market. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is that, about a three-inch uh, door? Or? Yeah, at least. About all, three inches all there. All filled, two and a half at least, three. Huge pass-through bay. Yeah, and it's got dual directional trays, so these slide either side of the coach. Nice. Gotta get this again. And then you get another one. So it has three full pass through bays, tons of storage on the Wow. Seat. Uh, it's got electric bay door locks to switch inside. Uh, it also has an alarm system. So if someone wanted to get into here, in here and you had the alarm set, it would set off the alarm, which is a nice feature. Uh, some of the other things I like about country coaches is that when they, their slide rooms come in, it's not like a lot of motorhomes where you have an exterior flange out here that it, this slides into the wall. So it's a nice custom fit compared to a lot of the other brands out there. One of the things about Country Coach that a lot of folks uh, really forget, forget to mention and, and that's, that's not known as much as it should be is this is probably the only production coach that I personally know of that ever had semi-monocoque construction. Can you tell us a little bit more about how this coach is put together. It does have a semi monocoque chassis. And basically what that means is that it's not relying on two center rails to hang the whole weight of the underbay of the coach. What it's doing is it's building a bridge work down below and with cross members that it's spreading the weight through the whole underbody of the motorhome. So that distributes the weight much more evenly. It's way stronger and you don't get that twisting and the flexing into the tile. So you don't get this going on within the chassis which all that stress is gonna go up inside the coach and cause problems with grout, tile, cabinets, things like that. So being a semi-monocoque chassis, you're gonna get a lot more strength from the chassis itself. I really feel that strength when I open and close the basement doors of a country coach, they just seem to have so much more strength than you know, other production coaches out there. So. Yeah, raised rail chassis basically are just hanging everything off of two rails. And with that being said, all that weight, when they twist and flex, that stress goes up inside the coach. So a semi-monocoque is going to eliminate that. So, yeah, much better. If you look at the paint, though, this is all Sickens paint. So it has a lot of depth to it. Um, you'll see all the metallics in the paint, which is beautiful. But Country's use a really nice side wall brand, but they're just flat looking where yeah. a country coach you're going to see the metallics and you're going to see the depth of the paint oh absolutely quality of this paint too of this era there's a lot of little little things that most people don't know but myself as a detail guy all of this metallic flake and it's, it is a higher quality clear coat so it's going to hold up it's not going to scratch as easy as some of the newer softer clear coats on some of the newer production coaches you're going to notice is that the front cap and the back cap are all molded together so that it's one piece. The Country Coach really was way ahead of everybody with their styling. The rear ends, still nothing like it. 
and all of the small details like even the the detailed out mud flap with the country coach logo chromed out so. yeah and by building their own chassis they're able to locate some of the fuel filters down here where they're really easy to get to your air filter all these things are accessible by any mechanic that's out there that's a nice cool feature when you build your own chassis you can locate things to make them easier to get to this is a pre-def coach so those of you know i'm a big fan of the pre-def coaches the coach unfortunately went out of business before they ever got to def so they, they've never built a motorhome with def in it so yeah so yeah this is one of the largest entry doors in the business uh it gives you a lot of more room to get in and out of the coach um a lot of the women like that when they're carrying in the groceries and stuff like that. Let's cruise inside here and see what's going on. Nice. This is a cool floor plan here. So, Country uses a really nice firm seats, lumbar support. They got heat massage, uh, really, really comfortable seats. When you're driving for eight hours, this is the seat to be in, that's for sure. But the cool thing that they did is they made everything where your gauges up here are all viewable from the driver. So ergonomically, everything's in really good position. Uh, the pedals are adjustable. Um, you got your tire sensor here. You got a three-stage Jake brake on this 525. So that's kind of cool when you're going down the hill, you're able to bring the coach to the speed that you want it to bring it at. Cool. All, all air brakes. Uh, the other cool thing that countries use is they use HWH air leveling. So it's a computerized system. You just push a button once and it does all the leveling for you. You don't have to worry about jacks and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about the surface. 2008 Country Coach Intrigue. Uh, the name of the floor plan is called a Jubilee. The Jubilee is kind of cool because it puts the galley on the driver's side of the coach. Um, it has a nice little office area here. But this kitchen right here is huge. It's one of the largest kitchens that country ever actually put in a motorhome. Uh, Seriously. Full extension hardware. Uh, this is light cherry, so it's all solid. Uh, and a lot of coaches, you'll come up here and you'll start hitting underneath and it's like a veneer piece. Oh no, Not it's solid, solid wood, yeah. But country coaches use three quarter inch wood, um, which really makes a big difference for the longevity of a coach. Yeah. Uh, but this kitchen is ginormous. It really is. This countertop has to be at least three to four feet. The thing on this coach is, yeah, that's a 32 inch slide room. These are both HWH hydraulic slides, but they're flat floors on both sides. Oh yeah. So it's the only model on the entry that they actually did flat floors on both sides of the coach that are both 32 inches. So this has a lot of depth. Usually when you have a slide room on this side of the coach, it's only 18 to 20 inches. You're gaining like 12 more inches just in this slide on this coach. That's why you see all this space right here. It's pretty awesome. It really is huge. I mean, this, this is... This has a hide -a bed that makes into a queen size bed. The tile countries are kind of known for this. They have the radiant floor heat, which is electric wires underneath the tile that will radiate and heat the whole coach. Nice. And in a lot of environments, you won't have to have your aqua hot on or your heat pumps. It'll heat the whole coach. Yeah. So it's kind of a cool thing. It doesn't make any noise. So a lot of people like that. Once you have it, you probably won't buy another coach without it. I've got to point out the ceiling too. Look at all the detail work on the ceiling. And I like that it's just slight mirrors and not overdone with the mirrors like some of the other coaches. It's got a good combination of wood, leather, and mirrors with the lighting. And uh, is that an automotive paint or what's that surface, do you yeah, know? Yeah, it looks like it was definitely painted by our paint department, so at Country Coach. Looks excellent, really a, really a light, warm feel. The thing feel. that a lot of people don't also note is that this is actually gonna baffle a lot of the noise from the roof airs. Oh, really? Yeah. With this whole thing, it's not only aesthetically pleasing, but it actually reduces the amount of noise that's coming from the roof airs. If you ever look at a lot of coaches where you just have the roof airs right there, and they're making a lot of noise, this is gonna baffle and make it a lot less noise. Yeah. Cool feature. Yeah. yeah, and I gotta point out this, the way that they designed this, there's a lot of nice extra features, like the outlets right here in the middle, and a nice, nice countertop space in the middle of the coach. And then it also has a wine glass cabinet, liquor glass cabinet, like a lot of the super high-end coaches. Yeah, country coaches are known for their fit and finish. When they did tile work and stuff, they didn't do prefabs and just slap them up there. They actually had a person come over here and lay each piece of tile. Yeah. So it's not into the prefab business here. This was all 
custom work on each motorhome. Um, you look around all the, the tile right here, there's no trim pieces. A lot of manufacturers will put trim around there. Yeah. They, they cut it out exactly, so they're not hiding anything and putting trim work there. This floor plan is really cool. Also, it has a nice pantry. So it's got a little bit of everything in it. Tons of storage. Residential refrigerator, so it's got a 3,000 watt inverter and it's got four house batteries that are big, large batteries that'll take care of all this when you're running down the road. Um, the inverter will run the refrigerators. This only draws about three amps per hour, so it's not very, uh, it's pretty efficient in that sense. It's also bigger than a regular refrigerator. That's 26 cubic feet versus 12 or 14. So much yeah, larger. Yeah, talking about big too, that shower is huge. Got the coring walls too, which is nice. So it's not fiberglass. Gives it a little higher end look to it. Huge countertop space here. A tile backsplash as well, yeah. same tile. This floor plan is it's taken out the sink and the king size bed. So it gives you a lot of space right here. So when someone's getting out of the shower, you have a lot more, more room to get things. Yeah double pocket door which is kind of cool oh wow with full wall mirrors that's really nice uh it's hard to find a motorhome that has floor to ceiling seal uh, has vanity mirrors like that i know a lot of a lot of folks like to see what they're wearing and, <laughs> and this is solid wood instead of you know wow yeah the noise does not lie, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You could not make that up. Now, this is a king size bed. It also has a, a lift to it. So a washer and dryer in the back there. That's a stack washer dryer. And then it actually has a bed lift here. Oh, nice. So you can still get to the rear closet yeah. when the slide outs are in. It's got this super high-end ceiling decor piece uh, the same way like it did in the front lounge area. This coach has a stack washer dryer also in it, as you can see right here. Nice. So it's got everything in it, king size bed, stack washer dryer, residential refrigerator, central vac, radiant floor heat. All the TVs have been updated. Uh, looks like they're all smart TVs, which is a nice thing, which we do in our service department. But, um, this also has the ability to take a separate receiver back here for satellite. So. You could be watching something totally different in the front TV and so on. You could be watching something else in the back. 67,000 miles, asking 179,000. I tell you what, I'd be, I don't know what you could find for 179 that has this type of quality, uh, this type of floor plan, all the amenities. I mean, where are you going to buy? A Tiffin? <laughs> oh man, they're giving me a hard time. <laughs> Rightfully so, because I mean, with, with all the work I've had in, in my 08, it's funny because I have an 08 Tiffin Phaeton, yeah. not nearly as much equipment, and I'm into it for almost, not quite there, but um, but just not even close to the amount of uh, equipment. And the thing that really sells me on this coach is the semi monocoque construction the build quality, when you open and close the basement doors on mm -hmm. this, that's what really does it for me. And then even the wood, like when you start banging on all that wood and knocking on that wood, man, this is a cool coach. I greatly appreciate you letting me see this, all the folks out there on YouTube. Um, if someone is a serious buyer and wants to get a hold of you, how can they contact you? They could call us here at Premier RV of Oregon at 541-998-2640. I greatly appreciate all of you that are liking and subscribing to these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.